Welcome, segment four. I'm Brad Lamack. We are still in, still Los Angeles, still Los Angeles, and this is Inside the Business of Acting, the series where we talk with actors and um, people who are in the industry about their career journeys, their turning points, and lessons learned along the way, all in in our very serious attempt to empower you on on your own career. Sandra Singlow is here, and and how nice, how nice to have you. For, for, so, so there's been lots of turning points for you in your career. Yes. There? And there's still turning points to come in, yes. in your career. Do you, are you the, the visionary who sees them approaching or did they kind of come upon you? I always have to, I, 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 I'm always trying to look at, I have six planets in Aquarius. Explains a lot. Uh, I'm always trying to think it ahead. It does actually. <laughs> of the next five years, what's the next plan? What's yeah. the next plan? And I think for me, it was about age 38. Actually, when I I, I I kind of formed this team about 10 years ago. It's like Fryer, Ken, yeah. David Schweitzer, brilliant director, Bart D. Lorenzo, the stage manager Joe. Witt, where you just start forming your tribe or cabal of people who see things the same way. So you have kind of a a base to mm-hmm. to work from, and you can envision what you want. It's kind of like this is my new show I want to do. I want to do it this month or next. Whatever theater is available, we're going to parachute in and make it happen. So it's very empowering. And I think I I found <clears throat> yeah, 38 was a really big turning point for me, where it's like if you wait for uh, industry or Hollywood people or even an agent. I think sometimes when young people are starting out, we have this dream that we're kind of waiting to be discovered, and then the lightning bolt will come down, the hand of God will like, and then we'll be done. Yeah, but in do. fact, they, it's they, not they really like that. You you really have True. to keep envisioning, redirecting your own career, and and vision questing whatever it is that you want, and then be really smart about continuing to build your skills in what you're, and, and to be interested in a and lot of things. to be smart about the business pieces. And to be, and, and to go, you know, it's not, and again, if you're a young person and you're a young female, it's kind of like, they're going to cast the mod, like, and you can be the loveliest person, the, the you know, the most drop-dead gorgeous person in some other city, but if you come here, it's just a swamp of people who are just like anorectic models trying to get onto, uh, uh, you know, and that, and that's right. fine. Uh, but I think, you know, and, and th- there's a lot of different way and I think also with reality shows today I mean the, the, you know the 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 it's a very big stew that people are swimming in in terms of what performance means or art right. or any of those right. kinds of and things. And it's a new landscape. It's a new landscape and I think that really the number one thing and I remember also at 38 I had again another one of those whys mm-hmm. on the road where I had in one year I had I had like a DreamWorks feature deal HBO thing a Fox thing and I was even writing an IMAX film so I was writing for, so it seemed this really huge year for me and one by one everything died it just like killed off as they usually as, as typically they will do pretty much 98% of things will do and and now I actually use that as a um, as a positive thing I recently was writing a pilot of something uh, I won't go into what that is but I go you know what I'm just gonna take the money because it's probably gonna die anyway it's not I'm not gonna be in it I'm not going to be in it, but yeah. I know it's going to die, so I'm going to take the money and get the health insurance. And that's been yeah. able to, like, now, <laughs> now I'm firmer. Yeah, then I yeah. go, yeah, it's just health insurance. I yeah. know it's yeah. going to die, so Definitely. I'm taking it. Um, but I think at that time where I really, it was that, I call it the Al Gore rolling up his sleeves on the dune on the beach moment, where, where I go, okay, they keep telling me, you know, it's kind of like, 30, we want the 35 and under crowd. We want to get those 35 yeah. and under. The young people, 35 and under. And sitcoms are for 35 and under. Now I'm 36 or 38, I go. So that land is forever lost to me. But it seems to me there are a lot of people 35 and older on this planet, and those will be my people. It's kind of like we tried to storm France, couldn't storm France. Let's go to Portugal or the little isles over here. It's right. kind of like, well, okay, your empire is closed. This is going to be my world. And I think at that point for me, I started when in my Van Nuys book, when I first had did this piece on KCRW about turning 36 and that I couldn't, it was like a Tourette's where I go, 36, 36, 36, you know, or my eye bags, got a, I got my eye bags famously lazed, although today I don't know that, where it's like, you're just, I'm just going to. I'm just going to say everything because that's what most of the world is thinking. There are a lot of people 35 or older, and that was very empowering and freeing to re-envision the landscape and to know that people in the entertainment industry and those offices, they're scared and they're also pretty powerless and their necks are always on the line and they're kind of ghosts. I, I, I started thinking of them as kind of ghosts in this ghost land who were really not that relevant to me. And I remember one time being in, a, in another meeting somewhere. It was the head of something, but... The head couldn't be there, so there were a couple junior executives. I think they were probably women, very nice women. 
but and by by now I've toured the world. I've done so many solo shows. I've written so many books. And they go, yes, and we've read all your stuff. But what are you really passionate about this week? And I uh, looked at them of kind of like of doing a dance, and they don't know what they want. They can't articulate anything. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm on their meeting schedule. They have to have meetings anyway. I could have stayed home in my pajamas. I'm helping them do They're their paid job. They're to have meetings. They're paid to have yeah. meetings. I'm not. They're not prepared. Yeah. And I, I remember looking down at and and the young woman. Her her legs were crossed, and she had a very fantastic sort of chunky shoe sandal on, very hip sort of chunky shoe sandal. And I, I looked down at the sandal and I realized next year that sandal will still be here, but another person will be wearing it. Right. You know, it's kind of right. like this, per so, <clears throat> right. this personnel is going to change because they're never there the next year after right. year. That's they have true. always gone to like, That's the true. shoe will still be here. Somebody Absolutely. will be wearing it. Some other hapless Absolutely. person will be there. I don't have to take these meetings. So that you have to, you know, re-envision something. That's... So... Will you come back sometime when you have something to say? Sure. Yeah, when promise, I have an idea of something promise, where I have some, yeah. some story to tell I, I, you. I, I, I thank you. I mean, it's enormously inspiring. You've taken stuff. You've grabbed on to. I mean, you carve your own journey, which yeah. is exactly what you're doing. Yeah. And, you know, it clear evidence that, that, that it, it can be done. It's yeah, and, and I think, done. but I think the world does need, I think that sometimes actors and other artists and dreamers are the type of people that are put down. It's kind of a flog fest of anybody who has this dream that they want to do anything creative. But in fact, I think that artists will say, are the only savior of the world. I, I've come to believe that in a lot of different kinds of ways. It's very important mm -hmm. that people keep fighting for this stuff because I think the artists are, are the, have, have the answers and we need them, even though yes. other people like to flog them. Yeah, we do. I would strongly suggest actress or performance artist. Okay, on, on, on fire. fire. Okay. Mother on Fire, that's Sandra Singlow's book based on just the remarkable one person show that uh, she's done. And I hope that it will be up and around at some other point yes. where you guys can yes. come see it. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for talking My about pleasure, your Brad. journey. Your, it's oh. very, this is, and more information, by the way, is at thebusinessofacting.com. You probably see a button on your screen somewhere, and then we'll give you um, information and a link to you so they can get to Absolutely. your website too. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, kids, for being with us for Inside the Business of Acting. I'm Brad Lamack in Los Angeles, and we will see you again soon.